So on Friday I was printing away and uh, my heated bed just suddenly switched off. The thermistor was still reading so I know it wasn't that. Um, I was uh, halfway through a six hour print as is typically the case. Uh, so I left it printing hoping that the uh, part would stay stuck to the bed but it didn't so I lost the print. Uh, I didn't bother checking until, until today really. Um, I couldn't be arsed with it to be honest. I was a bit uh, annoyed. Um, I'd spent some time refining things and dialing things in to get the best prints I could um, over a couple of days before I did the, the main print um, and I was like I say about halfway through and the heat bed died so today I've uh, been probing around with my test meter uh, I've checked the power supply and that's fine um, so my next port of call was to, to check the, the, uh, the terminals these green terminals to see if there was any blackening or or anything like that where they've been shorting out there's none of that the terminals are clean and then I noticed these fuses now I did some googling over the weekend about heat beds dying I'm sorry about the wobbling I'm sort of stooped over at the bench so it's a bit low for me and uh, it's pulling on me back uh, yeah so I did some uh, googling and uh, there was some mention of resettable fuses so that's what got me looking but uh, I don't think these are these are just blow all kind and they're sort of mini or micro fuses and that's a 15 amp rated fuse that's blown there so I don't know what caused that uh, I'm not going to repair the board and I'm not even going to replace the board certainly not with another GTEC not looking at that you know, I've uh, been on the internet and for about 23 quid I've ordered myself a, a complete ramps kit with the LCD uh, stepper drivers and basically everything I need so I'm going to upgrade to uh, ramps uh, I'm also um, I'm also replacing the uh, standard heated bed. Uh, I've ordered an aluminium Mark III heated bed, which I'm going to try, uh, along with an induction probe. Um, see how we get on with that. Uh, I've got to get the printer working again um, to print out a new carriage to set the induction probe. So initially, I'll just get the thing working. Uh, without the induction probe and hopefully print myself a carriage put the induction probe on I've got bed levelling then or auto bed levelling but uh, that's certainly a worry what's happened there um, it also reinforces what people say about not leaving these things unattended I know there are people that do um, I was watching a guy the other day printing printing out an aircraft uh, model and uh, he'd been leaving his printer on overnight uh, nothing happened thank god but you know, I think to myself, you're playing with fire, literally, you know, look, look at this. And uh, when I was looking this up and the problem with the heated bed, say these green connectors uh, came up as a culprit quite often for trouble. They blacken and melt and do all sorts. So these things really aren't, <laughs> uh, what's the word, safe. Um, I was looking for a better word, but safe will do it. Yeah, you know, they're not toys. They're uh, production machines, if you like. I mean, really, you, you, you're on the uh, ver you know the early verges of this technology, and it's not really all that consumer friendly at the minute. It's not like a coffee maker you can plug in and know, yeah, great, brilliant, the coffee will be done. These things are not like that. You know, you've got to be, you know, keeping your eye on them. Otherwise, things like this happen, and uh, you know that could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, it was the uh, fuse component. That went which is designed to do although not that spectacular um, and considering it's a 15 amp rated fuse something has surged and, and made that blow i mean i only have my heated bed on uh, for pla at uh, what 65 degrees so it's hardly pushing the heated bed um i don't really adjust that at all 65 does me nice for pla so and uh, i've been using it consistently like that at 65 on all my prints and i do leave the bed on um, but you know it should be able to tech it so yeah I'm going to replace this with a ramps board um, I'm not saying they're any, any better but you know this is uh, certainly discouraged me for wanting to use this board again or well, this make of board anyway I'm hoping I can uh, salvage the stepper drivers and nothing's happened to them um, I'll salvage as much as I can Obviously, um, I'll be stripping this right the way down for anything I can salvage off it as well because I like to do that, save what I can. 
Uh, I've got some uh, jumper pins there I can salvage off. Um, some heat sinks, so some usable bits I can put in the scrap box. So yeah, just be, uh, you know, just be wary of these things. They're not toys, and they have the potential to cause some, some, you know, some danger. So there we go. Another reason your heated bed might have failed. As I say, you want to check these these green connectors as well. They're prone. Um, things with, with things like this is that they, they can shimmy and wobble and you get arcing between the contacts if you like uh, and then corrosion builds up and then it leads to fire um, I actually had this happen once on a, on a connector block that uh, I was joining a mains lead together um, and it was a, a PC um, that's about 500 watt load PC power supply on it, and over the course of time, the uh, the neutral and the uh, the live um, portions of the connector block started to melt. Uh, now it was a 30 amp rated connector block, so it makes me wonder how that happened. But all the terminals were secure, but they can arc and spark, and that generates a lot of heat. So this is why screw terminals are better, uh, and bootlace ferrules and things like that because these things vibrate around a hell of a lot and things tend to work themselves loose and you can imagine the uh, little connector rattling, rattling, rattling you know, uh, if you've ever put uh, put the positive lead on a car battery and you've seen the spark that's kind of what happens in these things you know, if there's, if there's any, any loose movement between the, the terminals they'll spark and, and that causes corrosion and, and lots of nasty things to happen so check your connections all the while you know, keep an eye on them, don't take it for granted, and certainly don't walk away from these machines for any length of time and leave them. Uh, it's just not worth it. So, uh, just be warned. And with that, I'll say thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.